and get the mice to you. Marcus's team obviously has been through a lot in the last week. Just what's been, you guys seem so hyper focused and, and confident still. What's going behind that? Like, how do you guys feel right now? Uh, we feel good. You know, we, we trust in each other. We believe in the coaches. And, you know, we're just, we just trust in each other and we're, we're confident in each other. I guess Marcus Herbis, I mean, over your career, kind of really comfortable in mid range. How did you kind of develop that skill and where did that kind of start for you as a player? I don't know, really. Uh, I just, uh, you know, I felt like my freshman year, I was kind of getting stuck a lot in uh, the mid-range area, and I didn't really have anything to do. So, you know, I just got in the gym and worked on it. Justin, Coach Underwood kind of gave us the impression that over the last couple of weeks, he feels like something flipped for you. Do you, do you kind of get a feeling of what that was and how things have kind of been a little bit easier for you in the last couple of weeks? Um, I just feel like, uh, a lot, I'm just calming down a lot and trusting my teammates. They're going to give me the ball in the right spot and just making shots. So, yeah. Marcus, I know you worked in the mid post at SIU. At what, at what point did you know that posting up like this would be something you'd do at Illinois? Was it something they talked about in the recruiting process or during the summer? What point did you know playing this booty ball is, is something you'd be doing? Uh, we talked about it a little bit in the recruiting process. Not really. Uh, it was really just one day we had a film session and TA, Tyler, you know, we just, they just sat us down there like we really want to, we think like, you know, you and Ty can really take advantage of guards doing this. So we, it was one day, I don't remember when it was, but <coughs> just watched film and we decided that we felt like that we had an advantage there. As Marcus just offensively made, made it the most efficient you know, game of the season for you guys, just what leads to a game like tonight just to have that kind of performance? Just ball movement, really. You know, trusting each other that, you know, if you give it up, you're still going to get it back. Um, you know, we just, we just trust each other, ball movement, and guys are hitting their shots. You know, Justin's finding his rhythm, Quincy's finding his rhythm, Coleman, Luke, the list goes on and on. You know, when guys hit shots, the, the floor just opens up. I guess for either or both of you, Chris Collins talked about just how your offense and the way you attack matchups can stress defenses. Uh, well, why do you guys think you guys are successful in running the offense you guys run? Go ahead, Justin. Um, I feel like uh, we got a good coaching staff with uh, our scouting reports, so they like notice a lot of um, a lot of weaknesses in the defense. So like when we, when we just um, go through the um, scout the whole week, we just stress it and just work on it the whole week, so, yeah. You guys had to do a, obviously, Boo Boo is one of the, you know, better players, in the, better guards in the Big Ten. You guys had to guard him as well, in addition to the offense. So talk about defensively, what you were able to do with him. Uh, we just put a, we put a lot of different people on him. You know, Ty started on him, I guarded him, Justin guarded him, you know, we had a, we have an athletic, longer team where, you know, when you throw different guys to, you know, maybe be more physical with them or a little bit longer, like that can kind of wear on players. So, you know, we're we have depth in the defensive end too. Just what have you guys shown yourselves the last two games? Um, that we can like we. Well, I'm sure that coach say this a lot, but uh, we the real we a real connect connect team like from one through eight. So. Uh, we never like we locked in every day on, in practice. Uh, when we off, when we're not in practice, like we always locked in. But we just a real connected team. Just love having fun with each other and just just winning. We all got the same goal to win, so yeah, that's a great. I guess for either of you, like we hear that a lot. How connected you guys are. So how has that developed, and what's that feel like? Like what's it feel like to be on a team that's as connected as you are versus maybe in the past if you've not been. <laughs> uh, it's it's just fun, you know. Like we enjoy being around each other. You know, it's not. We see each other in practice, and that's when we see each other. You know, we hang out with each other, we have fun with each other, we joke around. The locker room's fun, you know. And I think that just carries on to the court. You know, you see the the joy that we play with. You know, we love making plays for each other, and it's just contagious. It spreads. Justin here. You had to adapt a role to a new team and then probably have to adapt again a little bit um, with the whole you guys have on offense. So what's that been like for you to, to step up as a scorer the last couple of games? 
Um, it's been fun. Um, I really, I really love uh, my new role. It's, it's just, just playing as hard as I can on the defensive end and just taking what the game gives me on the offensive end. I'm not really looking to score. I'm really looking to be unselfish, help my teammates, make them better, and just win. Whatever I can do to win, whatever Coach Brad tell me to do. <clears throat> it marks me not to belabor the mid-range point, but just was there like a player that you may have looked at, you know, someone that was good in that area that you kind of tried to, to mold your, your game a little bit after? Uh, I mean, I uh, I worked a lot. Uh, I give a lot of credit to Rob Dozier. Uh, he's one of my guys. He was a, a GA at SIU that I worked out with a lot, and we watched a lot of film. Uh, guys like Jason Tatum, Bradley Beal, Luca. Just like I just watched a lot of film with him, and we got in the gym every day and just worked on stuff like that. So, you know, just a lot of credit to him for you know kind of expanding that game for me. This will be the last one, Derek. Really, you guys, Chris talked about, Chris Collins talked about you guys getting the 50 50 balls and just seemed like you had an edge about you, like Luke died on the floor like that. What went into that, do you think, for you guys, and how big was that to set the tone in that way? Um, uh, it's, it's a real big thing, like, where like, we always got to be the first team to the floor. So if we don't get on the floor first, we gonna hear it from the big dog, so we just we just try to play as hard as we can for each other. So yeah, first man on the floor always win. So yeah. All right, gotta wrap this up. Thank you.